welcome back to my channel so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this wrap skirt please don't forget to like subscribe and also share please keep on watching so well for this skirt i will start off by cutting out the back on the pattern paper and then after cutting out the back on the pattern paper i will also cut out the two pieces for the front So I'll be using the very same pattern paper. Now I will measure my waist circumference, which is also the waist round. Divide it by four and then make a mark. And also I will go measure my vertical measurement. So I'm just going to subtract one and a half inches from the vertical measurement and the one and a half inches for the waistband. So I will mark my hip point right there and also the full length of my skirt. And I will take my straight ruler and just make horizontal lines on the hip point and also the full length of my skirt. So I'm going to come back here on the waistline and on the waistline I'm just going to, I'll just add another inch on the 8 inches I measured for the waist circumference. So I'm adding another inch and this one it's because I'm replacing the dots. So I'll just make a point right here. And then from there I will come to my hip line. So on the hip line, I will take my hip circumference or rather my hip, my round rib and divide it by four and make a point. So mine it's 40. I divided my 40 by four. It gave me 10 inches. So here on the full length of my skirt, what I will do is I will just go in by two inches from the 10 inches on the hip measurement. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark eight inches that's it so i'll take my stretch rule and then join all the points together So, well, now I'll come here on my waistline and mark my nipple to nipple measurement, divide by two. And then I will just go down here by three and a half inches. So, I'm just making my dots right here. And that's it. So, I'm just going to cut out. So after cutting out, what I will do is I'm just going to cut out the back, the back piece first, like I explained when I started the tutorial. If you check here when I'm cutting out on my fabric, I'm also adding half an inch for the sewing allowance because my pattern paper did not have any sewing allowance so that's it i'm done with cutting out my back so i'm just going to shape out um the front piece on this pattern paper and then i will just cut out 
well what i'm going to do now here is i'm just going to create a curve sorry my marker is not really clear so i'm just going to create a curve and after creating a curve then i will just cut out here so i'm just going to use this new pattern piece for the front to cut out my two parts of the front Now I'm going to cut out the second part of the front. And that's it. I have two parts of my front. So now what I will do now is I will also cut out the lining for all my three pieces. So here for the lining, my white fabric was not really enough. So I just decided to also make use of the outer fabric for my lining so that's it i've joined all the pieces together and i've also done the same for the lining So what I will do now is I will take my outer piece for the skirt and join it on my lining, right side facing. And then I will just make a stitch here to join everything here together. And I will leave the top part open. The top part, I mean the waistline part. And that's it. So what I will do now is I will also just turn this inside out. So after turning your piece inside out, you must also iron it. so the next thing for me to do is i'm going to mark out all the dots that i had on the pattern paper so i'm just going to transfer the dots here on the skirt so i've folded my back in half and then i'm just making the points right there
and I'll just pin the dart so I can go ahead to my sewing machine and sew in the dart. Now I'll be cutting out my waistband, so I'm just going to measure the full length of my waist. And then I will just take another fabric piece and cut out my waistband. And well, my waistband here is 44 inches long and also 5 inches wide. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to fold my waistband before attaching it to my skirt. So this is it. So I'm just going to fold in half an inch on both ends and then iron. So this is how it looks. And after that, I will just insert my skirt inside the waistband. And that's it. So I'm just going to make a stitch, a top stitch to join everything together. And that's it. it. So my rep skirt is almost done. Okay. So I'll be using these things here. Or you can also use the buttons. Since this rep skirt does not have a long waist band to tie, so I'm just going to be placing these things here on this part. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share. Thank you.